Hi, I'm Jackie with Harvest Right. Today I'm going to take you through the entire freeze drying process from beginning to end. From prep work to packaging to rehydrating, you'll see how fun and simple freeze drying can be. It's a great way to preserve food for short-term or long-term use. Freeze dry your garden produce, your leftovers, buy when sales are on and freeze dry to save money, and to preserve the food your family loves. The benefits are endless. Keep in mind that nearly every food can be freeze dried. From fruits and vegetables, to meats, dairy, eggs, and even full meals like lasagna and beef stroganoff. Before we get started, let's turn on the freeze dryer to let it get cold. Okay, today I'm going to freeze dry scallop potatoes and ham. I'll also freeze dry raspberries, apples, and ice cream sandwiches. Let's get these prepared for the freeze dryer. I'll start by spreading the scallop potatoes on the tray. A good rule of thumb to follow is to fill the food to no more than the height of the tray. Next, I'll prepare the ham by laying nice thick slices on the tray. Try to keep the slices under a half inch thick. Now our fresh raspberries. I'm simply going to place them on the tray. The great thing about freeze drying is you can place more than one item on a tray. So on the other half of this tray, I'm gonna put sliced apples. I sliced these apples with an apple slicer and gave them a quick dunk in lemon water. The last thing I'm going to show you are these ice cream sandwiches. I like to use small ice cream sandwiches that are in a cellophane pouch. I'll cut the top of each pouch and put the whole thing on the tray. The slit allows the water to escape from the pouch. I'll do it quickly so that I can keep them from melting. Because the freeze dryer is nice and cold by now, we won't have a problem. Let's slide the trays in the freezer. Put the door pad in place, turn the handle completely to the right, and that's it. It's that easy. This appliance is amazing. The freeze dryer is going to freeze the food 40 or 50 degrees below zero. Then the vacuum pump will automatically turn on and create a vacuum inside the chamber. The freeze dryer gradually warms the food, the water sublimates off as a gas, and the food dries. The process takes about 24 hours. When it's done, the freeze dryer will beep. The process is entirely automatic. We'll come back tomorrow and check out our food. Okay, it's time to check our food. The freeze dryer's been running for about a day and you can see that the screen indicates the food is dry. Let's turn off the freeze dryer. I'll open the door and take a look at the food. The food looks exactly the same as when I put it in. It hasn't changed its shape, color, or flavor. I'm going to test a few of the bigger pieces to make sure that the food is completely dry. First, I'll look at the ice cream sandwiches. Since they had the most water in them, I will check to see how hard they are and if they're wet inside. The potatoes are dry and crumbly. The raspberries look like fresh raspberries. They are so good, and they're completely dry. The apples are beautiful. They're the same color, same shape, and haven't shrunk at all. And the ham is perfect. Meats are the easiest to freeze dry. Since there's no water left in the food, I'm ready to package and store it for future use. There are three things that cause food to go bad. Heat, water, and oxygen. The freeze dryer takes all of the water out of the food while the food is still really cold. And the way to take out all of the oxygen is to put the food in a Mylar bag and add an oxygen absorber. You can also use number 10 cans or canning jars. All of these methods will preserve the food for many years to come. I've already labeled the Mylar bags. I include the date and a description of what's inside. So I'll take the ham, fill the Mylar bag, add an oxygen absorber, and seal it up. I like to do a double seal just to ensure that it's airtight. I'll do the same thing with the potatoes.
My family loves to snack on freeze-dried fruit. Sometimes I store it in these glass jars, and sometimes I store it in canning jars. That way, they're easy to access for a snack. For long-term storage, I'll put the rest in Mylar bags, add an oxygen absorber, and seal them up. Raspberries and other fruits are delicious in cold cereal or warm oatmeal. I've powdered them and used them in smoothies and even to flavor cakes and frosting. Try using freeze-dried fruit in your baking. You can drop them in your muffin batter or your next cobbler. There are so many options. Okay, these are ready for your pantry or food storage room. For snacking, I put these jars of apples and raspberries on the counter or pantry shelf. The ice cream is amazing. It's delicious as a crunchy snack. I'm going to store some in Mylar bags and put some in a plastic bag to enjoy during the week. Your family will love these. Properly stored food can last up to 25 years. 